Hey guys, today's video is going to be about uh, just some products that I picked up recently from the drugstore high end. I just wanted to kind of give you my opinions, my thoughts on them. Um, I have used them a couple of times and um, a couple of them I didn't really like and a couple of them I really love and want you guys to be able to pick them up uh, while they're still out. So the first thing I want to share with you is the Wet n Wild palette in Smoke and Melrose. And this is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It, it just screams fall. And oh my god, I had to I had to get it. I mean $3.99 and you know what wild. You cannot you will never be disappointed by their pigmentation. They are just gorgeous and perfect for fall. And I wore them the other day and they were stunning. So this is gonna be one of my go-tos. I can already tell I love and it. From the same line, I picked up this Wet n Wild nail polish, and this is a matte shade. This is in the color Echo Dark, and you can see it's a dark blue shade beautiful shade. I love this color. Um, I'm actually, ugh, my nails are like disgusting. I haven't had my Setch Feet top coat for like a week. So I haven't done my nails in a week and I'm like, oh, so I think tonight I'm going to do this color and I'll show you guys um, in my next video how it looks, but I'm excited because this is a really cool color and to be matte will be really pretty. So I really love that. And that's an echo dark. Um, and then I picked up, I went out of my box and picked up the Revlon Color Burst in Elusive 205, and it's a matte shade. And I've been kind of going for these like rosier colors. This is a little bit, it's very, very creamy and very matte. I've been into the matte lips lately, um, but this shade is beautiful, and I thought it would look really pretty during the fall season. So I did wear this a couple of times. It's one of those colors where it's not in your face. It's just beautiful. So it's not nude, but it's not like bam, you know? So I love this color and the um, formula is really nice. <clears throat> Next, I picked up this NYX lipstick. This is the black label lipstick. I got this at Nordstrom Rack because they don't sell these in the store, um, at least not at my Ulta's. But this is in Harris, and this is another one of those, like, I don't know, rosy, rosy pink shades. A little bit darker, but you can tell it's kind of what I've been feeling for fall. I still love my nude lips, and that is what I wear, like, 90% of the time. But I just wanted to get a few colors just to switch it up a little bit in the fall time and kind of experiment with different looks. So I love that. And these black label lipsticks are really creamy. I really like the formula of these. Um, but yeah, I did get this at Nordstrom Rack, so I don't, it must be like discontinued or something. I don't know. I don't know how that works. Next is this e.l.f. HD blush, and I've been looking at these forever, ever since I came out with them, and I was just never really interested because I'm not into cream blushes very much, but Lisa Lisa D1 had mentioned it, and I thought I'd give it a try because we have similar uh, makeup taste, so I picked it up, and this is in the color Headliner. It was definitely the most wearable to me. It was like a, it's like a light pink shade. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but, um, a little bit of this goes a long way. It's super, super pigmented. I really like the consistency of it. Here it is right here. And then it just kind of, I mean, that's a lot like, that's like way overdoing it, but you can see how pigmented it is and a little bit goes a long way, but it was nice. Um, I thought it blended really nicely. I used my e.l.f. small stipple brush to apply it and I definitely thought it was really pretty. Um, I haven't, I've only used it once. It wasn't like amazing, but it was okay, especially for $3. It's worth trying, especially if you like cream blushes. So I'm kind of so-so on that. I mean, I like it, but it's not something that I'm like, oh, I have to wear this today. So, okay, next. Next is this lip gloss. This is a Sephora, just a regular Sephora lip gloss. I got this in a kit, and I never wore it until recently, and I put it on just for fun. I thought it was a really pretty color. Um, it's not really showing true to color. It's looking more purple, but it's like a, like a hot pinkish color. Um, it's called Pin Up Pinky, no, <laughs> Pin Up Pink Shiny. And this smells okay. Now, what really got me on this? Here is the color. Oh my gosh, the formula is amazing. 
it feels like like silicone on your lips. It's just so pretty. Such a good feeling and it doesn't something really bad. Luke sprayed me with this. Okay. It's just body spray. It just makes you smell good. It's fine. Look. Mmm, it smells good. So anyway, I actually you know what? I'll put this on for you guys. It's like Mm. So that's what it looks like. Just a beautiful color. Amazing formula. I'm not sure how much these are, but they can't be that much. They're, they're the Sephora line. So I'm going to see what other colors they have in this because I was really surprisingly impressed with this lip gloss. This um, and then, oh, this product. This is the NYX Simply Nude Lip Cream. And these were new at Ulta. If I can... Okay, um, but I got the color, they had like a nude section, a pink section, a red section, and maybe, I don't know if they had maybe one more section, um, but I chose, there was like five in each, five or six in each category, color category, and uh, I picked this nude, and this is in 03 Disrobed, and this has, some of them are completely matte. And then some of them have a little bit of like, it looks like shimmer sparkle, um, but it's not like overwhelming. You can't really see too much of it on your lips, but it is so pigmented and pretty. Here's the color right here. This one to me was the most wearable when I swatched them. So I might get another one maybe from the pink line because I do love this formula and they are fairly inexpensive. So I really have been loving this color and these new um, cream sticks. So you all know I'm obsessed with Estee Lauder Double Wear. So every time I go to like Macy's or something, I always go over to the counter and I always am interested to try other things from there. Um, just because I never hear too many people talk too much about Estee Lauder. So I picked up something that I've never heard anybody talk about. I just went out on a, on a whim and I picked up this pure color stay on shadow paint and this is in the color cosmic wait till you see how gorgeous the color is oh my gosh does that not scream fall like oh so pretty so like squishy when you touch it super pigmented and it looks amazing on the eyes like oh my gosh look how pretty that is it stays all day it's really easy to blend and I've been wearing it a ton in my eye looks lately just a ton I love this color so yeah I've been loving that and then I've got a lipstick from there that is my go-to right now amazing they are pricey I believe they're $30 Ooh. Um, but so worth it they are newer I believe um, and this is the oh, well, I'll show you the packaging real quick. It's like the magnetic packaging. Oh, you can tell I haven't done a video in forever. I'm like all over the place. Um, but yeah, it's got the magnetic closure, which is all nice and fancy. It says Estee Lauder up there. And this is the Pure Color Envy Lipstick. And it's in 120 Desirable. Wait till you see this gorgeous, perfect, perfect pinky nude. This is a nude that just goes with everybody. Just the most stunning color so creamy oh my lord i'm obsessed here's the color right here like if you don't own this color you need this color it is beautiful that's what i was wearing before i applied this lipstick so if you want to rewind a little bit and see what my lips looked like this is what i had on and then i just put this on top of it so. last last but not least um this foundation Okay, so this is the Ready Set Gorgeous Foundation by CoverGirl. I got the color 220 Soft Honey. I really like this foundation. This has maybe light to medium coverage, more on the lighter side. Um, for me, I like the Double Wear, which is full coverage. So this is more like a BB cream to me, but it did even out my skin tone and it lasted all day. It, I didn't have to blot. It held up so well and I was really, really impressed by it. Um, ah! What did you just do? No, no. But you Libby. said it for your skin. Uh, yeah, but you don't spray it that close. I didn't know you were going to do that. Okay, can I do it? No, not now. You already did it. Um, it's fine. <laughs> I'm clothes? eating it. Like your 
It's fine, Liv. I am so impressed with this foundation. I absolutely love it. I will wear it for like days where I just don't feel like wearing such heavy makeup, but I really like it. And the color match, perfect. So I do highly recommend this foundation. So if you like lighter, I don't even really want to say medium, but I don't know. I think it's more, not medium, but like light, but closer to the medium if that makes any sense. Uh, but yeah, so um, definitely try this out. And I think that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Um, yeah, thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.